Well, hey everyone, Logan's from here. I'm doing a cell phone video because my camera is not charged and uh, the SD card is in my computer. But, um, just a little air conditioner maintenance tip. Um, if you have a new air conditioner, it's really, really good thing to clean it once a year. Um, these newer ones, they're so fragile. They really need to be cleaned, otherwise they just don't work with the fuck and, you know... Then you start, they just burn out. Then if you start running them too hard. The older air conditioners, they were pretty good. They would just work no matter what. They'd run your electric bill all to high hell because of it, but they wouldn't burn out. These newer ones like this, they need to be taken care of. At least once a year, you need to clean them out. And you can see this one pretty well blocked off solid. Now this is one year of use. This is the air conditioner I got from my boss, who uh, used it for basically a summer, last summer. And then when this year came around, he just tossed it. He didn't want to clean it, just threw it in the hole. Well, I grabbed it. There's a few dents in it and stuff. It still works. But I'm going to clean it out good because I'm going to use it. And yeah, it's a little dinged up and stuff, but it's definitely good enough for the price, and it's only a year old. It's like the same as my window air conditioner. It's way down there in the end of the house. That's an 8,000 BTU. It was used for a year, threw it away because he didn't want to clean it out. I cleaned it out. works just fine. Same with this one. This one's 12,000 BTU. And will do just fine for my purposes. And yeah, it's got all the nice controls and everything. Probably upside down for you guys, but whatever, you get the idea. But yep, these newer ones are really fragile and that. You really got to keep them clean. I started cleaning off the front side here. Um, compressed air usually works pretty good. You know, blow them out. But that doesn't always work. Especially on this one. It, I can't get the the air to blow that off so that's why I got the fan taken out and the shroud and everything and definitely make sure the bottom's cleaned out good too because you don't want water sitting in there because then it starts to do stuff like uh well, where's let me give you a good example here over here where it's starting to rust the uh the steel water system there because it's got like garbage like that in there and it holds moisture and then like when you're not using it the moisture's sitting in there and it just collects moisture and it just starts rotting things now you can use like a garden hose technique and run it through there and brush it and stuff like that, but this is one that's got electronic control unit and everything and I don't want to kill that because that's what, once you kill that, these air conditioners are useless. Now if you got an old turnstile, or I mean they still make them just with the turn knob air conditioners, the basic models, um, you can get away with that a little better because those turn knobs, they don't really die. Really as long as you don't get the run capacitor wet, they're pretty well bulletproof. You can get the motors and shit wet, all this stuff, because that's all, that gets moisture all the time. It's outdoors but this is this stuff is on the inner side of the unit which is indoors which doesn't see the moisture and that's why it's actually in these boxes like this where it's sealed off from the rest of the unit well running the garden hose technique you can still get a chance of water in there and i'm not going to risk that but i'm doing a pretty decent technique if i can find this is just a wire brush uh it's a welding brush you know off one of them little setups uh brushes are pretty new and straight on it so it works pretty nice but you can just you know brush it through the fins just go straight up and down and it doesn't bend the fins, it brushes the shit and mo mostly loosens it up and you can blow it out. Like That stuff's just caked in there. But now look at it, it's all gone. And this is like a mixture of cat hair, dust, you know, just anything that the air conditioner can collect. A any animal hair, anything from outside. And I'm just brushing it off, the fins are staying all nice and straight. It's not hurting nothing. It'll knock most of that shit away. I'm going to brush it out good. Get this all put back together so I can use it. And air conditioners are pretty pretty damn simple to take apart. It's just, just screws. You know, screwdriver. Basically all you need is just a Phillips screwdriver. You can pretty well take them all apart. Uh, basically, as long as you can negotiate the wires and the piping. And also, when you're cleaning them, it's a good time to look for bent uh, bent pipes or pipes that are rubbing on stuff. You do not want any of the pipes or wiring rubbing on stuff. Like, See, now this is a good unit. It's got uh, all the pipes and everything that are fragile and stuff are going to run somewhere. 
are all either covered in uh, you know foam. Uh, the wiring is all coated with you know this stuff, uh, insulation, whatever you want to call it. And pipes where they're going to rub, they've actually taken the time to put foam rubber or you know stuff like that around it. Now just, but it doesn't hurt to check that stuff to make sure it's not going to rub. See like this little, I can't remember kind of line it's what it's called, but any place that it's going to rub, they have actually put just some vinyl plastic, uh, you know, tubing over it so it can't when it rubs. If it does hit something, it won't rub through as fast and wear out. But really, that stuff, see they've even uh, soldered in a little pipe down here to actually space those pipes away from each other so they can't rub, like right here. And right here where there's wire, or not wire, but tubing, they got it uh, held away. Yeah, just you want to keep water from sitting in these two. You want to make sure they're at the right angle. So the water drains out the back properly. Um, a little bit of water in them is actually not bad because actually what I've been told and what I've seen a few times is actually the rear fan here slings water around a little bit to kind of cool things off inside. Because um, there's actually, a, a, I, I'm trying to remember, but it's just something I've been told. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. It is plausible though. I mean, you just want to make sure you get all the crap cleaned out of them. Um, uh, some of this is like insulation for these wires and stuff. And you, yeah, it's kind of degraded, so but you can fix that too. Just put in some new piece of foam or something to keep the wires from rubbing around. But yeah, these actually these newer units are pretty durable as long as you keep them clean. They'll take a hell of an ass kicking from being dropped and all that stuff, but it's when you you don't clean them out and they get blocked off completely this side was about the same is when they burn out because they just get overheated and they can't function properly and they die and you know for a bigger unit like this at 300 300 close to 400 bucks a pop you just don't need to do that you just spend a couple minutes clean them off clean them out once a year and be done with it be good for a year and especially a person like me will I mean, it's kind of nice knowing when people do this, but it's only if you know the person that does stuff like this when it comes in handy, like you can pick them up for free like this. Yeah, I know this one was probably abused for at least the last couple months it ran, but once I clean it out, I'm, I know it's going to be good for however long I have it. It's going to be good for at least a couple more years, and then, you know, for free, can't complain. But I'm going to finish clean it out, put it back together, run it, and just to make sure everything's still good, and yeah. So just a little tip, guys. Have a good day.